What's up guys, Volt here bringing you a brand new Fast and Furious car remake. In today's remake, I'm bringing you the 1999 Nissan Maxima from The Fast and the Furious, the very first movie. Not really an iconic car, but it is a good looking car in my personal opinion. It had like the shark livery on the side. It was a personal vehicle of Craig Lieberman, which was one of the people that worked on the Fast and Furious movies. And he had a few of his cars in the actual movie, which was the Toyo Supra and his Skyline as well. His R34, I mean. And yeah, I mean, it was one of his kind of like just get up and go everyday driver kind of cars is what the Maxima was. And it's kind of interesting. Uh, the reason I chose this vehicle right here is because it is i believe like a karen intruder i think it is basically almost like a police vehicle in gta online but if you think about it if you kind of look it up a little bit the karen vehicles are basically represented by kind of nissan and the <laughs> nissan maxima is well you know pretty much a nissan so i thought it would fit pretty well the car is pretty interesting there's not a lot of customization to it so if you want to spend the money on stuff you can if you don't want to i can understand unfortunately there's no livery for it there's no like special car in the game that is based on the nissan maxima this is probably the closest thing you can get to it and this is my rendition and take on the actual vehicle so let's just get into the build so to start things off, it's a fairly cheap car and you're going to find yourself on the travel and transport website, Southern San Andreas Super Autos, to the filter list, go to four door, go down on the left side and probably about almost close to the bottom, you're going to find yourself the Karen Intruder, which is going to cost you about $16,000. Again, Karen is based around Nissan in GTA Online. That's the kind of brand name that they have for GTA Online. In real life, it's based on, you know, Nissan for the most part. I said, the Intruder is almost like a Nissan Maxima, I would say, but it really depends. And it's a pretty cheap card, $16,000. Another reason is it's a four-door vehicle. And the Nissan Maxima actually is a four-door vehicle as well. Once you have that bought, you're going to go into the LC and you're going to customize the beauty. You put one of the Karen Intruders in the sedan category, which is very interesting because we don't have too many of those vehicles for the build. So as I go over all my builds, I go over the overall look, the visual appearance, and the basic design and then the car and how it's portrayed in the game, movie, or anywhere else in general itself. Anything else I don't go over is completely up to you. I just put a few staples on that you want to make sure you put on, get as close as you can to the Nissan Maxima from Fast and Furious. That Vince drives, by the way. It's Vince that is the one that drives this. So to start things off, going to the front bumper. You want to go to the front bumper. You want to go to the custom front bumper. This kind of gives it a little bit more of a lip and a little bit more of a body kit type style to it. And again, these customization options are not going to cost you too much to do. So I would do them personally. Kind of does look like the car a bit. In my personal opinion, on lot, the GT Online version is a little long. For the rear bumper, you want to put on the custom rear bumper. It kind of puts the custom rear bumper on there with the body kit. That way it kind of looks like an all-one piece. Next, we move on to the exhaust. You just want to put on the chrome tip exhaust. It's the best option. Plus, it's, I mean, it's like 700 bucks, I think. And there we move on to the lights. You just want to keep them stock. Again, pretty much keep them stock. There is no neon kit on this car that I know of. I could be wrong. I didn't really see any parts of it at night. So there could be a neon kit on it, but I highly, highly, highly doubt it. There was very few cars that they were actually just driving around as personal vehicles that had neon kits on them. Uh, Leon Skyline didn't have it. Letty's 240SX didn't have it. Jesse's Jetta didn't have it. And of course, Vince's Maxima didn't have it either. Vince is one of the kind of like underrated characters in Fast and Furious. So, you know, I, I kind of like actually building this car because it is a pretty cool looking car. It's got the iconic like burnout scene when he pulls away from the, uh, the house, which this is one of the very few cars actually in the movie that was an automatic and not a standard so they actually had to i guess grease up the wheels a little bit and just pretty much stomp down on the gas put it in drive and then amazingly burned out like crazy and i guess like throughout the video or throughout the movie whenever it gets a little bit further down the road you can actually hear it shift into second gear and then it downshifts from there we move on to the plate you want to pull in the blue and white one and you want to put on the custom plate which is 4 G N. O three zero nine again that is four G N O three zero nine. Same respray for last. We move on to the skirts. You want to put on the Bipdu side skirts, which is 
an interesting name for it, but it just pretty much completes the full body kit of the car. And it, it, again, it's not very much. I mean, I would say at the maximum, it's probably $2,000, if that. From there, we move on to the spoiler. It had no spoilers. So don't worry about adding that. I'm going to move on to the suspension. I went with the street suspension. I think feeling a little bit lowered is better than nothing. It seems like it was lowered a little bit, probably either lowered or street. I just went with street. I mean, you could probably keep any of these three. I wouldn't go all the way down to sport or competition, personally. From there, we move on to the wheels. Now, I know a lot of people go to the sport category. They go to the stock rims, and they put on these right here, the Inferno rims. Now, these do look good. I do actually have to admit, these look pretty close to the actual one from the movie, from the real-life car. But the ones I go for are the chrome rims because they're going to be chrome you want to go with the deep five chrome rims i believe these fit the best the spokes at the end kind of like sink in a little bit kind of like dig in a little bit and it is a five spoke it does have like the same design almost as well same rivets and everything so i think these fit the best personally and again if you want to go with the inferno rims you can but i still think these are the best wheel color is going to be chrome so you can't change any color on that tires there's no custom tire design on the tires don't worry about adding that Tire enhancements, bullproof tires on if you wish. I didn't. And tire smoke, white tire smoke. After that, I move on to the windows. The windows I went with are light smoke. It had a tiny bit of tint. I wouldn't say it is as much as dark smoke. I mean, it could be. It's really hard to tell how like dark it actually was. There's very few scenes with it. Like when he's getting out of the car, opening the door, you can kind of see it there a little bit. But other than that, I wouldn't say it's none, and I definitely wouldn't say it's limo. I would say either light smoke or dark smoke, personally. And I'll see you guys in two seconds with a rolled steel primer color. All right, and we're back. As you can see, I have my car in my primer out rolled steel, as I always do for all my builds, so you guys can see what I do for the color. And there are two options, I would say, for this build. The main one is a crew color, which I'll go over here in a little bit. But the secondary one, which isn't too bad of an idea or too bad of an option, go metallic, go all the way down to the blues, and you just want to put on the dark blue. And then you also want to put on the ultra blue pearlescent. This is a pretty viable option. The color that the car is based after, he put a Dodge Viper blue on it. And honestly, it looks great. I mean, I love the color of it. It looks amazing. I wish we could get delivery on it. That would be even better. But unfortunately, we can't. But the other best option, which again, I'll go back to the rolled steel, or I could just go to the crew color. It kind of lightens it up a bit. And I feel like this is a better option. It is a custom crew color. And the hex code will be on screen right now. I'm going to apply that. And you're just going to keep the same pearlescent over top of that, which is going to be an ultra blue. It really, really shines out in the sun. And it's kind of a little bit dark in the, like, you know, the shadows and all that and the dark spots. So this is my personal opinion on what looks best again. And that is it. That is how you recreate the 1999 Nissan Maxima A32 that Vince drives in The Fast and the Furious. Again, a very underrated car. A car you wouldn't expect in a kind of racing scene movie. It was kind of like a really cool looking car. It had that shark design on the side. It had this chrome rim. It had some tint to the windows. It had that awesome dodge blue viper color to it. Unfortunately, GTA Online doesn't do it as much justice as it is in real life. But again, you got to take the hits where you can get them and just kind of do what you can. I think it turned out decent. I mean, the customization could have been better. The wheels, I love the wheels. I think they turned out the best, personally. And just the basic idea and the car behind this you know nissan karen intruder maxima four-door four-door you know it just kind of all fits personally and it kind of has almost the same look it's got like the bottom bumper lights and all that it, it just it turned out pretty nice i think but again another underrated car and not a lot of people will probably recognize it or really notice it at first if it had delivery people would but it doesn't so if you drive this around or if you try to show this off people are like what car is that why would you make that you would have to kind of give the idea or you know kind of like tell them oh this is vince's car from fast and furious then they'll be like oh man that's so cool and then well it looked cooler with a livery but unfortunately <laughs> a livery a different exhaust option which will be, be on the side a few extra little things you know i think overall what we have to work with it didn't turn out too bad all right, so we're done. We're going to go outside. Probably going to be dark out. Huh. 
Sun's coming down. So it's kind of hard to see, but you did see the car at the very beginning, how bright it shined and everything. So in all honesty, this car is pretty cool to drive around. It does have like, it feels like it has the Nissan Maxima vibe. It doesn't have the front wheels. It doesn't, you can't, can't burn the front wheels, which you could on, it's a rear wheel drive vehicle for the most part. But you know, it is pretty close. And I would say as close as you can get for Vince's car, unless they come out with something even closer. Then I guess I'll have to redo this video. Anyways, I think that's going to pretty much wrap it up. So as always, like, subscribe, hit the notification bell. Leave your comment down in the comment section down below what car you want me to do next or you want me to try to build. So I thank you all very much for watching. Hope you have a great day. And I hope to see you guys in the next one. I'm out. Peace.